So in this strategy for addition, we'll be using the same example as we used for uh, place value, but this time we're going to use an empty number line to add on. So at this point, we would choose the larger number to start with. And on our number line, we would put the 265 at the start because that's the biggest number. So we're going to add on the smaller number to make it easier. Again, knowledge of place value is important because the 138, you're going to split that into smaller pieces. So you might want to add on the 100 to start with which would take the 265 up to 365 and the jump is just marked by a little uh, curvy line with the plus 100 written at the top there just to make sure that the child keeps a track of which bits of the number they're adding on. So the 100's been dealt with, you could then add the 30 all at once or it could be added as three lots of 10, or it could be added as a 20 and a 10. It depends what the child is comfortable with. But again, each number that you're adding on, you would just record at the top of each jump. So if we went for 395 there, because we've added on a 30, um, and in this case, we've got an eight to add on. So child might decide, well, we've got 395, if I add on another 5, that might be easier than adding on an 8 all at once, and that would take you up to 400. And you can see here you've got 135 that you've added on, but you need to add 138. So you've got another 3 that needs to be added, and that takes you up to the 403 at the end. Again, it doesn't matter how many jumps are needed so if you wanted to break up the 100 or break up the 30 so long as by the end the 138 has been added on.